Hey everybody, it's Cardella from Cardella.tk, and I'm here to tell you about my new FPV 250 quadcopter. I was really excited to start this project, so I took everything I had out and destroyed my kitchen table. The wiring harness was pretty neat, it just uses miniature bullet connectors and you plug everything together. The motors were incredibly small, I hope they're going to have enough lift to take care of this. One of my first stumbling blocks was uh, the variety of connectors that my batteries had so I had to rewire a bunch of them. One of the questions I keep getting over and over again from my buddies is, did you have instructions? Did you have a kit? The answer is yes and no. I had a kit that included the frame and four motors and the wiring harness, but there were no instructions, and that doesn't tell you how to hook it up to the flight controller or anything like that, so I had to figure it out myself. Now you see here I have three bladed propellers. I'm going to scrap these in favor of two blade propellers later on. After some initial craziness, I'm a big fan of this design. Once I figured out how to put um, the flight control board on risers, get all the wiring under it, get everything out of the way of the props, and replace the props with two-bladed props, it's good to go. It's really neat to see that LCD screen lit up at night. It's really easy to tune all the little settings on the LCD screen as well. So this is much more stable than my previous X525 quadcopter and I'm a big fan of the, the visual feedback from the LCD screen. For this small quadcopter, I picked up a KK 2.1.5 board. In the past, I was using a clone KK 1 board, and uh, so far the 2.1.5 is much, much better. Here you can see my old quadcopter and my new quadcopter. Uh, Counterintuitively, the small one is better. Here you can see my little GoPro stuck on top of the, the new quadcopter. Eventually, I hope to have an action camera on there just like that. Here's a case I picked up from Harbor Freight, dollar bill for scale, and uh, the quadcopter just fits in there perfectly. It's a really nice carrying case and it was pretty cheap as well. Here you can see the prop from the uh, X525 quadcopter and it's larger than the uh, FPV 250. That foam comes out in small sections so you can sink your quadcopter right into it. And I also have little cutouts for extra props and extra batteries. So far it's a really good carrying case setup. It's padded on the top, bottom sides, etc. Here you can see sort of the cutout a little bit. It almost looks like an 8-bit design because the foam rips out in squares. And you can see the perforations in this picture. I apologize for being vertically oriented. Took it with my phone. Here's the uh, circularly polarized antenna. This antenna is for my FPV setup. And uh, it's supposed to be much better than the dipole whip antennas that come standard with this sort of thing. I have the uh, cheapo Quantum View $30 FPV goggles. I'm just a huge fan of these uh, antennas. They look so cool. And again, the uh, Quantum FPV goggles, or Quantum FPV goggles. And there's the finished product. Two bladed props, and let's get a little bit of a test flight. If popular culture has taught us anything, it is that someday mankind must face and destroy the growing robot menace. The robots have descended on us from outer space, escaped from top secret laboratories, and even traveled back in time to destroy us. Behind me now is The Killbots Are Coming by Flex Vector. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, please check out my website, www.cardella.tk. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Have a good day, guys. Bye.